Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm Ali Hammer, and today we're interviewing Richard Denning, the Director of Software Engineering from Essentia. Richard, welcome to the show. Can you start by sharing a little bit about Essentia? Yeah, sure. So Essentia is a media monitoring company that helps us empower our customers to make decisions by monitoring, analyzing, creating actionable insights for complex communications across Asia Pacific. So basically what that means from a tech perspective is each day we take in millions of media items from traditional media, uh, which is broadcast, print, new media, which is online and social media. We ingest those through our ETL-based cloud pipelines. We then enrich them with machine learning and natural language processing um, computational computation. Then we put that together in a large data set. Once we have that large data set, we're able to build features for custom use cases on top of that, such as delivering relevant content, identifying trends, alerting on important matters, and getting a pulse on what's happening in the media landscape so our clients can make the best decisions. Well, as someone who loves learning about what's happening in the world from different sources of media, I think that the work you do is so interesting and helpful for so many consumers. And Richard, I wanted to ask you, why did Essentia decide to utilize the cloud? So the decision was to move to a cloud-based microservice architecture. Basically, we needed it to be scalable with robust uptimes. Monitoring the media has daily peaks and troughs. So we needed to be able to up, scale up and down dynamically our computation in a both a reliable, fast and affordable manner. Yeah, that makes complete sense, especially as you say, because the media is always going through peaks and troughs when it comes to content being released. And Richard, how has AWS actually helped you grow your portfolio with your current customers? So having access to the AWS TAMs as part of the enterprise support, has also given us access to stack specific SMEs. Um, and that helps our developers upskill when there's new AWS technologies we're introducing. This was really important recently when we grew too big for our Elasticsearch provider and we had to move, we had to look for options. We were able to move to an open search solution in a two month period, which solved our stability problem. And we were able to leverage existing spend with AWS for better pricing, which offset the development costs by switching over. Wow, two months, that's really impressive. And Richard, moving on from this a little bit with the current industry challenge of attracting talent, which is really real right now on the market, I wanted to ask, how does Essentia go about hiring and also developing the talent that you have? Yeah, so look, I think it's really important to have a mission for the development team. And our mission is a transformational one at the moment. We're moving to a scalable, simplified microservices stack that is automated and scalable. So basically this means that the developers across the latest technologies and are actively encouraged to keep learning and bring new ideas in. This is also paired with a strong sense of ownership for each developer with everyone owning a part of the system. So having a mission and be able to see the impact you have on that mission encourages and engages the teams to keep learning new skills and sharing that with the rest of the team. Well, it's so great that developers are encouraged to bring ideas and have that sense of ownership. And I 100% agree with you that having a mission and being able to see the impact that you personally have on that mission is really important. So to round up this interview, what I wanted to ask you is what's your top tip for creating like a cool, fun working culture within your employees and your business? Okay, so my personal philosophy for a great culture is the acronym MAGIC. So letting the team know the meaning of what they're building, giving the team the autonomy, autonomy to come up with a solution and deliver it, having a growth plan so the team know that they're there for a career, not just a job. And when that work is delivered, making sure the team member can see the impact of what they've done. And finally, ensuring that the team member has a connection with their squad so they know that everyone belongs, is respected and contributes. Well, I asked this question a lot and I really love that answer. I'm going to steal that. So thank you so much. Magic. I'll write that down and remember it. Richard, thank you so much for coming on the show. The relationship between AWS and Essentia is a really important one. And, um, you know, if anyone has any questions about Essentia or how they use the cloud, please pop it in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank, thank you so much. You.